Guitar necks are an important part of your next, guitar. Next, 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 next. James, I like guitar necks. Next. Can Me give, too. Can I give you a little bit of rundown on my like sort of neck history? Hell yeah. Okay, so next, I used to be like, I have to have the thinnest neck possible. Wizard neck, baby. I want to like, and then then I, then I fell into like love of fenders, and I because my Gibson I used to play was like it's a seventy eight deluxe, mm -hmm. has a really small neck, so I was like, I love this neck, I want to replicate it. Guy have small necks, I will not play a fender with a big neck. Then I fell in love with a sixty one fender, I got to play one on tour with this this really good guy, um, and his neck was really not as small as that. I was like, this is a good neck. Some and then, chunk to it. And then I, I was like, I still, I'm scared of those. Then I started playing like, I saw, I saw a really big Fender neck. I never played like a U neck before. And I played, I was like, oh my God, this is horrible. <laughs> but then, then I started thinking you about started it. You started dreaming about I it. I did, I was lusting. I played it at Wildwood Guitars in Colorado when I flew out there once because my, my, my wife had a work trip, so I, I had to go um, to. And uh, I played and I, and I didn't get that guitar. I, I bought another one. Dummy. I know, but and it was a telly with a humbucker in the neck. It was Ooh. it was green with like a binding. It was off. It, I yeah, you goofed. I still yeah, and it was so much cheaper back then. This was years ago. Yeah. They're expensive now. But um, how much was a custom shop back then? I mean, this was 25. like a heavy. This, no, this was like this was probably three something like, but it was like heavy was like relic dope. top. Of it. It'd be like a five thousand dollar guitar now. God. Um, it was probably thirty five hundred, thirty four ninety nine. Anyway, I love all guitar necks. Yeah. I love all guitar necks. I used to be like, I have to have small. And then I went through this phase, I have to have big. I love them all. You put a guitar in my hand, that's a good guitar. I don't care what the neck is. So now let's talk yeah. about necks. Yeah. So, so can I give you my history of necks? Yes. I knew nothing about them until like three years ago. Okay. <laughs> like I literally, I uh, just didn't think about it ever. Like I had guitars like, and I just played them. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, that's, um, I just really didn't think about it. I, and I think that is that is the healthiest attitude yeah. about necks. Because some people get on the interwebs and they get obsessed with necks. Yeah. Well, we had a video last week <laughs> about strings. Yes. Minutia. Um, it now, will kill you to death. But don't get me wrong, the neck does matter. Oh, yes, absolutely. It does matter. On now how, I'm educated. Yeah, on how you play, <laughs> on um, what kind of style you play, the tone of the guitar... Mm -hmm. you know, we're, not, we're not just talking about rosewood or maple. Right. You know, we're talking about, but we're talking about standard neck carves. Yeah. I mean, like mass affects tone. Correct. And, 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 and density affects tone, right? That's why when you talk about like, you know, a light guitar sounds, it literally sounds different than a dense guitar, like a heavy guitar. Because and, you're and again, physically changing not, the structure. Not better or worse. Just different. And let's, let's go to the most basic common yeah, neck yeah. sizes. Popping. Let's talk about like, you know, your classic... Your classic Fender 60s C-shaped neck. How would you describe that in English terms? Um, yeah, so when you see like the C, when you look on the internet, you see a C, it's, it's gonna have like, it's gonna have a nice little, it just cups right in your hand perfectly. It's not, if you play a modern Fender, that's sort of a modern C is what they call it. So it's a lot thinner. A, a vintage C, like an early 60s to like 64 range is gonna have a little bit more, a little more shoulders, but still has that classic Bing, sort of shape to it. Yeah. Not too big. That's the most famous, mm -hmm. popular neck. And when Fender sort For of, good reason. Yeah, when Fender hit that, they haven't really changed much. No, they're pretty much the same. I, it's been a some var variation of a modern C neck since then. Every other guitar company has copied it. I have a question for you. Yes. Can you give me the classification? Because, okay. Oh boy. So there are, there's a couple different, I guess we were going to go, were we going to go there? You know, go deep. The different the different types like C, D, U. Yeah, I think okay, we should cool. get into some of them. Yeah, yeah, hey, run it down. Um, so U neck. So U neck is that's going to be like when you're talking about an early Telecaster, Broadcaster, Esquire. The U neck is a big chunk. It's like it's half a baseball chunk. bat. You're gonna there's gonna be graphics popping on this. You'll see them all. But it's it's probably your it is it's the baseball bat. It's half a baseball bat. Man. Jeff Beck was famous for saying, hey, just give me the, give me a baseball bat and cut and put it on the neck. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Huh? That's my Jeff Beck impersonation. I don't know if he's saying horrendous. I, I, have you heard him talk ever? Yes, once. When we saw him live, maybe? But you were at that club next door. What? Yeah, you don't remember. Okay, was it? Show, man. You were at that club, man. I was not at that club. You remember? I the dance club. And Jeff Beck was playing at the Gretsch event. You're like, I'm bouncing. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I definitely was. I was like, this <laughs> sucks, I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, I don't listen to, listen to guitar yeah, music. You didn't want to see We were at a cool dance club right across. Like, it wasn't, I'm, I'm older and I'm married and stuff, and you were younger and not. I was, yeah, and, I was like, screw this. This yeah, is old people okay, music. Anyway, another story. Anyways. <laughs> I want to hear some, I want to hear some 808s. <laughs> Sorry. I don't even I talk like about that. I know, they are, I like 808s too. Sorry. <laughs> so that's your basic Q-neck. And so that's the opposite of your classic C-neck. And then we're gonna kind of transfer it. Let's just jump straight into getting to our V-necks. 
one of my personal favorites. We're not talking about sweaters <laughs> or, or shirts, but Man, V-necks are phenomenal. Them out. That, that, um, the 57 V-neck yeah, it's is great, but the 1056. Which I had no idea what that was until you told me about it, and then we got to play one. I was like, oh, he was right. This that is, awesome. is one of my favorite net carbs yeah. in Fender history. Now, the 1056 is like, it's like a V, but it's a little bit like wider on the shoulder some. You're going to see it in the graphics. But when you fit that in your hand, it's got the it's magic. Primo. And it was only made in October of 1956 is the whole lore of this, this mystery. Probably by thing. accident, right? By like most that's, of those, what happened. Yeah, those things were all, they didn't know what they were doing. No, that's like Leo yeah. was like, he was the master of like, well, this is the part I have. Just eat, Let me do my work. Leo impersonation. Well, this is the part I have. So I'm going <laughs> to put this in here. <laughs> well, he sounds a lot like Noel Gallagher. Yeah, he's, well, he was friends with Noel. <laughs> <They're> best friends. <laughs> We'll talk about Oasis in another video next week. <laughs> to um, James. James won't be here for that one. Yeah, I don't like um, that. Well, I, it's not that I don't like Oasis. You love Oasis. Everybody loves Oasis. Um, but anyway, coming so, around. So you have the V-necks, and then the V sort of slowly morphed into what we know as the C-neck. So another one was the '60s oval, cool. which I'm a big fan of. I have I have a guitar with kind of a '60s oval on it. My little Daphne blue one has mm -hmm. sort of that that feel, and you'll see the specs That's right. rolling yeah. through. And then you have the 65 style C. And then they keep, it's, they just keep going. Anyway. Once again, all minor differences between, between them. Like, yeah, but and, and you can definitely feel it, you, especially if you A, B them. Yes. You know, like when you, that's I think when I started really noticing the differences, like playing multiple guitars. And when you are, like if you're in the market for buying a guitar, this is one of the most important parts of yeah. buying a guitar. Yeah, just don't look at the numbers. You gotta hold it. And even if you see like a 1056 being like, that's what I want, we have two in the shop right They're now different. that are com yeah, completely different. And I, I don't know, it's because they make them by hand. Correct. To hold it. It's, it's, um, yeah, but if you have a chance to, if you're buying one in store, put them in your hands first and just like get a feel for them. And if you can't, call and have somebody, and if it's a good shop, they'll have, I've done this for people where I will be on the phone with somebody and have a neck in my hand and describe it to them. As best I can. That's really weird if you take it outside of the guitar world. Yeah, it is. It's like, what does that neck feel? Well, <laughs> <laughs> hold on. It's got slightly rounded anyway. Yeah, so all then, right. And then Gibson's sort of running its own, its own sort of like neck sizes as well. And we all look at the holy grail of like that 59 Les right. Paul. And we think of it as this massive tree trunk. Right. And it's not. It's not. It's not. It's, um, you can get a 59 Les Paul custom shop that has a massive it's neck. It's biggest neck. You can get it wildly uncomfortable in my opinion i mean i like them i, I like them. i do I, I you just you have to change your playing style it, you do like, that's like with the u neck on mm -hmm. the telecaster and then similar with a 54 gold top right. has a chunky big and I, you know how i feel about 54 gold top i love them but it's a big I neck touch my mic sorry derek i um, love 54 gold tops um yeah that that is a very big neck though and in a lot of, if you're a player that's new to guitar, that might not be for you. And here's another misnomer, misconception. If it's a bigger neck, it's not harder to play. It's not. No, it's, it's not. Like, some yeah. people think smaller neck easier. It's quite the opposite sometimes. I, I would, yeah, I think, yeah. It's, this is for people that have not had much exposure to sure. it. Sure, yeah. So it, it, it's, yeah, no, don't get me wrong, a big U neck is big. Yes. But when you get in those, like, so the golden era of neck shaping really did come down in that sort of late 50s, mm -hmm. early 60s is where they sort of got it down. You're going to see all those specs running around, mm -hmm. but let your hands do the judge mm -hmm. there. It is an important factor of the guitar. And so let's just, to be clear though, in common parlance, your, your, for Gibson, your 58 is the largest or is it some, which, which, because we have 58, 59, and 60 yeah, I, are your most like common. I mean, I look at the, the cause I've played some 50, I've played some original, you know, early, like early 50s Les Pauls. Yeah. Those some big old Mexican boys. Those. But then some, but then the prototype ones, I've got, I've gotten played two of those like in the That's early cool. years when they have, you know, the, the horrible bridge on it. <laughs> the neck wasn't that big. Right. It was a small neck. It was, it was kind of strange, but that beautiful gold patina. Ooh, it was green. Um, but then, yeah, 58 is a big neck. Okay. In the Les Paul world. And especially if you get a 58, right. 335. From the custom shop, that some of the ones they've made, those magical, big neck, but magic. And it gives you this, this sustain on that guitar. Mm -hmm. It does affect that, as James was saying. It does. Um, but and, and don't say otherwise. Yeah. Seriously. Please I comment. I jump through this camera at you. You can't do that. Yeah, I can. It's, it's like, a, I'm like the ring girl. I was thinking like the lawnmower man. 
Oh, dude, let's talk about Lawnmower Man. We're not. So, I love that movie. So in conclusion, that was one of Pierce Brosnan's best roles, God, dude. Was he in that? Yeah, he was the he was like the evil scientist next God, door. Funny. So <laughs> they had a lot of sex in that movie. Do you remember that? Please help me. <laughs> help me come home. Thank you for bringing Lawnmower we're gonna, Man. We're gonna watch that horrible CGI yes. movie later. In the shop. So if you haven't seen Lawnmower Man, go watch it. Don't watch now. it. It's not good. It's great. Go watch some videos on custom shop guitars. <laughs> watch any of our channels. Subscribe to it even if you want to. Yeah, please. We have lots Leave of comments in the uh, section the, below. The guy comments. who does all of our camera stuff, he works really hard at it. Right he's now he's really mad at us right now. I think he's in the bathroom right now. Maybe. Um, he's left the cameras rolling. And, <laughs> Just to get a, away from us. Yeah, like the whiff of our detritus coming out of our mouths is mm -hmm. worse than what's happening in there. Yeah. Um, on that note, thank Did you. Did we talk about Next enough? Is that enough information? I think it's enough for now. We'll go back and just, look at it. Just put your hands on them. Don't, don't, it's not a numbers game. And, and call people. Yeah, and call, call people that know about, about it. it. Even if you don't want to buy a guitar, yeah. call them. You can call us. You can call any other good shop that loves guitars and loves Next. They will know a little bit about it. Cool. Have fun. Bye, guys. See you. Oh, that was cute. <laughs>